16 News now investigates a work from home scam targeting job hunters. Right, investigative reporter Carly Luca is walking us through how the scammers not only offer fake employment, but they're also asking workers to do something illegal. I was happy I got a job. A work from home opportunity that seems almost too good to be true turned out to be just that. I fell for it. The Better Business Bureau calls it an employment and reshipping scam, and the fake company at the center of the scheme claims to be headquartered in the Hoosier State. A couple of the companies that we've found um, that are doing this are using fake addresses within the state of Indiana. So the first one is Golden Logistics Worldwide LLC, and the second one is Cargo Ship. Cargo Group Logistics, LLC. 16 News Now investigates has tracked down the address the fake company Cargo Ship is using. It's this former Del Monte plant in Plymouth. And though the scammers aren't actually here, that doesn't stop them from looking legitimate to real job seekers. What really sold me on this, though, was the fact that I talked to literally six different people. So there was an HR department. So it made it seem legit. There was a manager. I had two supervisors or maybe three. The scam works like this. The company calls someone who is looking for work from home positions on sites like indeed.com. 80% oh, of the employment scams that we're, we're hearing about through our BBB scam tracker, um, basically, you know, they all have the same common thread. Contact was initiated by the scammers. After a brief phone interview, the scammer says you're hired. I was like, oh, great. I was so excited. And um, I didn't know about these uh, reshipment scams, you know, like it's not something you you think about. And like any real job, you have to fill out paperwork. So I signed the W-9. So now they have all of my uh, information, my bank info, my social, my name, my driver's license, everything. They even provide training. They sent me detailed videos of how this the, the business works and what would go on. The work seems simple. I would be getting packages sent to me and just kind of like scanning over it, making sure everything was correct and nothing was damaged, reselling it and printing out a new shipment label and sending it to someone else. But according to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, these packages often contain merchandise bought with stolen credit cards or counterfeit money orders. They think they're working and they're doing their job, but in fact, they're doing something that's illegal. It's something this scam victim learned the hard way. They're using um, uh, stolen credit cards to buy these items, sending it to people like me not knowing that it's absolutely illegal and we're we're doing, you know, something wrong and we're sending it to them, obviously. So it's it's a horrible, horrible scam. And it's a lot of people are falling for it. And it's not that, you know, they're dumb or I'm dumb. It's just they've gotten very crafty at it. But when it comes time for the fake company to issue a paycheck or if a worker gets suspicious, the scammers vanish. Nobody would answer my calls. Uh, my manager wouldn't answer, supervisors wouldn't answer, HR wouldn't answer. The employer has taken the website down. They've changed their phone number. Um, they're nowhere to be found. That means no pay for work that turned out to be illegal. And on top of it, those behind the scheme now have your personal information. I'm going to have to change my bank account. The best way to avoid this scam is to do some digging before agreeing to work. Do all the research you can. Go to BBB. YouTube, Google. Because many of these fake companies seem like the real deal. They're professional sounding when you get them on the phone. They are good actors. They know, you know, they can tell you all about this fake company. They can tell you that, you know, they have so many employees and they can even tell you, you know, who the employees names are. They're very good um, and they're not going to stop either. They're going to keep evolving, you know, and get better at it. We just have to be a little smarter and, you know, more vigilant and just do the research. 16 Investigates reached out to Indeed.com to ask if they do any screenings on those posting jobs on their site. They say they have a dedicated search quality team who assess the suitability and validity of job listings and that they remove tens of millions of job listings a month. But the best way to know for sure if the employer could be a scammer is to go to BBB.org slash scam tracker and search for the business name. For 16 News Now Investigates, I'm Carly Luca.
Plenty more to get to straight ahead, including Matt's full forecast. We'll be right back after this break. Live.